Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can limit login attempts to access your WordPress dashboard. Basically, when someone makes a failed attempt to log into your site, then that IP address will be blocked for a specified time and a message will be shown. Something like this. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, to add a limit login attempt to a WordPress website, let's first go to our dashboard. Go to wp-admin. In a normal scenario, a hacker can try to access the website multiple times and this could lead to a brute force attack. So let's limit the login attempts by blocking that IP address which makes several wrong attempts. For that, let me log in with the right password. So we are in the dashboard. By the way, there are few plugins that can limit login attempts. However, we will use some simple codes. Go to Appearance and Theme File Editor and go to Theme Functions. Scroll down. So we will add some code here. So here is the code which will limit login attempts on WordPress. And this code will be provided this 60 here means the blocking time for failed login attempts in seconds. This too means two failed attempts before that IP is blocked. You can change this to three attempts or five. Also, you can change this from 60 to 120 or 3000, 600, etc. This will be in seconds. And this is the message that will appear after two failed attempts. Anyway, Copy this code and paste it into theme functions. I will make two attempts for now. This is 60 seconds and this is the message. Update file. So the file has been updated. Let me quickly log out. And let's try to log in with the wrong password. So two wrong attempts have been made. As you can see, this message will appear and the IP will be blocked for 60 seconds. Sometimes you might also see 429 errors. This actually is from your hosting server for security and is not because of the code. This should auto work in a few hours for your IP. If it is urgent, you can simply change the internet connection, use a VPN, or talk to your server to whitelist the IP. So you can see, with the VPN it works all good. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.